Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I have a knife review coming to you. And I know I don't do a whole lot of knife reviews, but I thought that these two knives were important enough to merit their own video on my channel. Now, why am I showing you guys these knives? Well, let me tell you a little story. For one, um, I was doing some training a couple weeks back, doing some defensive tactics training where we had uh, you know guys in the red man suits coming at you, beating you, trying to kill you with their bare hands and uh, sometimes there's multiple multiple bad guys against you by yourself so there's a disparity of force issue involved there uh, or they're on top of you full MMA style you're on your back and uh, your, your hands are the only thing you have to fight off the bad guy and his legs are covering your gun and your taser your baton or whatever you have so you can't get to him and uh, you have to punch your way and fight your way um, out from that situation and we, as you, some of you guys know out there who do MMA or, or martial arts, um, when you're on your back trying to put, punch somebody who's on top of you, you don't have a lot of force behind it. And if you're a female, it's even worse. So if, say you're a female and uh, you're getting abducted and somebody wants to rape you, you know, punching them as much as you can is not going to do anything. But if you have a little neck knife like this in your hand and you start cutting arteries and tendons and things like that, uh, you can turn the tide. I was also watching a video by uh, We All Juggle Knives. Uh, check out his channel if you've never seen him before. Dude is all about knives all day, every day. And uh, he does a lot of hardcore testing. A lot of companies send him products for him to do the hardcore testing, even if he destroys the knife. Um, so uh, he actually did a review on uh, this one here. And uh, that's the reason why I gravitated towards that. The reason why I like these is because they're cheap, <laughs> for one. I mean, I, I'm, I'm on a budget. I know a lot of you guys out there are on a budget. It's just nice to have something that's very affordable and expensive, but still value-packed. This is only $9. Matter of fact, both of these are only $9 on Amazon. They may have been cheaper um, a while back, but they're up to about $9 now, which is insanely cheap. For $9, you get um, a full tang fixed blade, you know, 440 stainless steel blade. Pretty cool. G10 handles, jimping. I mean, uh, you get a lot of features packed into this for only $9. Yeah, it's made in China by a company called Mtech. And uh, yeah, okay, so what? So, let's take a closer look at the, uh, what you call this one? This is the MT674. It doesn't really have a name. Um, we All Juggle Knives calls this one the Micro Claw, which I think is a much cooler name. And I like this one the, the most, actually, out of these two, because um, it's just so tiny and it's so lightweight and uh, I've been carrying this um, on the streets of Las Vegas um, already and uh, I tuck it into my Kevlar at the top of my vest and it just disappears I don't even know it's there until I need it and uh, if I get into a fight and uh, someone's overpowering me for whatever reason um, and I can't get to my gun or my other tools I can pull this out and start affecting a release and getting that person off me um, can you stab with this thing probably not it's only got a 1.7 inch cutting surface here on this um, this curve, this hook, or that claw, whatever you want to call it. So you're not going to do a lot of uh, deep uh, stabbing with this. This is more of a, a slashing, ripping type tool. Just enough to cut a tendon or cut uh, into um, a ligament or maybe even an artery or veins um, just to get in there and get them off you. Just like a tiger's claw, which can still be very effective. I mean, think about it. The carotid artery is only um, a half an inch to an inch away from the, the skin surface. So you could slash an artery right on the neck with this. Um, obviously, eyes or anywhere on the face, this would be devastating. So, very cool little knife. It's got, like I said, a full tang, which is nice, nice and strong. It's fairly thick. I don't know the thickness of this, but it's, it's pretty dang thick for a $9 knife. Uh, it's got that hook design. It's got... Um, I guess you call this a V-grind, which is very good for slashing. It's got that deep finger choil there, so you, you can really grip this thing with two fingers nice and solid. It's not coming out of your, out of your hand um, under aggressive use. Uh, it's got some jimping on the back for uh, more grip. I don't think you really need it with a knife this tiny, but it helps. It's, it's, you're getting value for that $9. They don't need to do that, but they do. Uh, it's got that stonewash kind of finish, which is also, again, something they probably didn't have to do, but it looks really nice for a $9 knife. G10 handle scales, which is again surprising for a $9 knife. They're held in there with a hex head uh, bolts. And 
Lastly, it's got a lanyard loop, which again, I'm surprised that they went and did that because um, it's $9. That's just extra machining and uh, one more step in the production that they have to do that costs, costs them money. But again, only $9? That is value packed, man. Awesome. And then it comes with a actual Kydex, not plastic, but Kydex, true Kydex um, sheath. It's a little hard to put back into the sheath. It's also kind of scary to put in because you're you're forcing that tip right into the palm of your hand. It's kind of kind of scary. You got to kind of wiggle it in there. But once it's in there, that sucker's in there, nice and tight. That is not going anywhere. There's no wiggle at all. That sucker is snug, which is nice. It comes with the. Uh, breakaway chain you don't want to put 550 cord on here unless you have some kind of breakaway buckle but um, if you're uncomfortable wearing the chain some people will change this out to something else just keep in mind that if someone chokes you with this around your neck you want it to be able to break away you don't want to be choked out by your own you know neck knife so there you go that's the uh, MT674 or um, what we all jiggle knives calls the uh, micro claw this other one here this one's cool too. Uh, again, $9, I couldn't pass it up. I had to buy it. And uh, the reason why I like this one is because I'm a big fan of Tonto blades. Tonto's, you guys out there who are into knives, you already know. Tonto designs are fantastic for piercing and stabbing. They, they, this design here is, is great for going through um, all kinds of clothes, denim. And it's not going to slip out of your hand when you do those uh, stabbing motions. Or piercing motions because you have these really deep finger choils on the on the handle or the grip there and it's a three finger grip on this one versus the two on that so this one's even more confidence building as far as the grip goes it's not coming out of your hand there's no jimping on this one again though I don't think you need it it's so small and this is more of a, a slasher you could stab with it if you had to but a uh, fantastic little tiny Tonto the blade is about two inches so well under that that three inch uh, standard that most states have most cities have when it comes to knives so this is pretty much going to be legal in a lot of places i know some places are still kind of ridiculous they don't even let you have these but most places you can still you can still carry this because it's only two inches g10 handle scales uh, hex head bolts and no lanyard loop all right so this is just a quick demonstration of what the little micro claw can do with that little 1.7 inch blade. This is an outline of my arm. So imagine this arm is choking you to death. You pull this out, you just cut right into that person's arm. Cut their hands. That's gonna do some serious damage. And here's a demonstration of the uh, micro Tonto. Obviously you got soft targets on the face stab them in the eyes that's gonna hurt the face the carotid artery slicing it you're doing damage just with this little tiny two inch blade you're cutting right into really deadly areas if you had to and then obviously you can stab all right so there you go that's a quick look at these two neck knives made by mtech that i thought um, are really good value at nine dollars each um, again if you're into self-defense and you want to stay armed at all times and always give yourself the advantage um, from just having your bare hands. I know some of you guys out there are, you know, Bruce Lee, Ninja, Navy SEAL guys that could kill somebody with your pinky. But for the rest of us who aren't those kind of guys, it's always nice to have some type of force multiplier, some type of advantage. You always want to be one up on your attacker. If he comes at you with bare hands, you better have some type of tool in your hand like a knife, pepper spray, a gun baton whatever it is so you better have one up above your attacker so there you go guys that is the mtech neck knives check them out